doing all right? You doing okay? Yeah, we got to tell them how you're doing. They're concerned. They've been concerned for you, buddy. Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Um, I've read the comments on the Friday blog. There's a lot of a lot of you that were very concerned, um, which I appreciate uh, for Kepler because we had to take him to the vet and he was not feeling well. Um, but we've kind of been waiting on bated breath for today, for Monday, because this was the day that we got the blood test results back from the vet. And we did. And on the, the chart, it showed up that Kepler has pancreatitis. Um, now, when I heard that, my first thought was, well, that sounds bad. What is that? And uh, the vet explained, and then we also did some research after. Um, pancreatitis just means the pancreas is inflamed. Um, it does not necessarily mean that it is a long-term chronic condition. Um, and you know, Kep's almost nine and he's never dealt with this before. This is new for him. Uh, more than likely, at least from what the vet thinks, this is something that he's just going through right now. We have to figure out what's causing it, fix it, and then his pancreas will return to normal and uh, he shouldn't have stomach issues. That's the hope, at least. So, um, in, in terms of pancreatitis in cats, uh, the first step is to, is to change up the diet. And there's a few different schools of thought from, from what we've read about this, but the vet seems to think that um, it could just be from the fat content in his food, uh, which is completely fair. Uh, we've been feeding him, I think it's Blue Wilderness, uh, for several years, and that's just because blue was the same food that we had Sagan on. We tried so many different foods before we finally found a, uh, it was a grain-free food by blue, and that was like the first food that we found that Sagan could eat and not have diarrhea, because he just always had, you know, bowel issues. So we got Kep on blue as well, not the exact same food, but a similar food. Um, so he's been eating both the uh, the wet and the dry variants of that for a long time, like for several years now. So there is a chance that maybe it's just weighed on his body a little bit. Um, there's also a chance that maybe he's developed a food allergy. That can happen. Um, but the first step is going to be changing up his diet. So um, Mal and I have been looking into foods that have lower fat content and, and higher protein content, so leaner foods. And uh, there's a lot of different options. I mean, the, the gamut of like cat food quality is insane. Like there's so many cat foods out there and it's just, it's a little overwhelming to be perfectly honest, but um, we haven't made a decision as of today, but we're, we'll hopefully make a decision as of tomorrow and order something. Um, we've, in the meantime, we've been giving Cap hit, uh, the food that the doctor sent home, the uh, Science Diet ID. Uh, and we've been supplementing that with uh, some of his kibble. We haven't given him any of the blue wet food since the incident on Friday, but we have given him some kibble because otherwise it just, it's not enough calories for him. But he's done fine. Um, he, he puked Friday morning, which is why we ended up taking him to the vet, but um, you know, he hasn't puked since. So, uh, so that's good. And I think I mentioned it on Friday, but like the reason that we took him is that he had puked multiple times leading up to Friday. Like he had puked almost every single day for five or seven days. And like, yeah, there was hair, but not every day. That's, mm, that's getting into some, it just seems like a lot. So that's why we finally took him. But he's been really good since then. Uh, since Friday, he's been fine. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, trying to figure this thing out with his tummy so he doesn't have any other issues. Uh, the goal will be to find a food that works for him, that doesn't have any symptoms, and then after he's on it for a while, we can do another blood test and see if the pancreatitis is gone. That's the goal. Um, I don't really have a timetable for that. Obviously, we're gonna be ordering food soon, but then he'll need to be on it for a while, make sure that he's not puking or having any issues like that, and then do another blood test and see you know where we are from there which you know none of that sounds super fun i'm sure buddy but uh it's you know it's for your own good it's to help you the good news is 
from what we know right now, um, it doesn't sound like this is anything that is, in its current state, life-threatening. Um, it doesn't sound like it's, it's going to diminish Kepler's quality of life in any way. It's just, there's something wrong, and we've caught it, and now we need to deal with it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to figure out what food we can give him, and hopefully we'll figure something out. Uh, in the event that it's not that, then we could go to uh, prescription food. Um, we could go to, uh, there's some supplements that we could give him for, for certain things. So like there's a bunch of different options that we could go, but the, the easiest one right here at the beginning is to just uh, find a, a leaner food, give him that and see if he does better with that. And that's what we're gonna do. Again, um, thank you all for the sympathy, the empathy, the compassion, uh, you know, showed on uh, on the comment sections and uh, reaching out on social media and stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, Kepler means the world to us. I mean, now more than ever, uh, because, <laughs> because it's, you know, he's he's it. He's it. It's, it's, it's just him. And, uh, you know, we certainly miss his brother, but also, you know, because of what happened to Sagan, we're really just... I guess we're just more acutely aware of how quickly something can happen. So that's why we're just, we don't want to take any chances with him. It's like, if we know this something, we're like, well, let's just, let's just get that checked out just in case. Cause we won't kept around for a long, long time. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed this update on my little buddy and uh, Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? We'll be back tomorrow. Yeah.